Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another fantastic video on comparing two cars. These two cars are of big interest to me and it's not a real world apples to apples comparison but it is an interesting thing. Comparing to that is the BMW M4. I know it's not a straight on comparison, I, I might, people might not agree with this but from a real world perspective, how these do compare on paper from cost it'll be interesting to see so today's video i'm going to take you we are not going to do a test drive that comes in the next video today we are going to see the exterior the interior what you get for the money you pay what are the little whistles bells and whistles that you get and the wheels and the looks all of that we will discuss and the m4 is a three liter bi turbo engine this is the i20n behind me let's go and have a look at the car now here we go guys this is the i20n 72 plate look at the car absolutely stunning this is my car the i20n looks beautiful currently on for sale it comes with the front end ppf i did that and i black roofed the car as well it looks stunning look at that beautiful the car is amazing for the money, this costs new about 27 and a half this year. They've increased the prices. But I think if you look for a used car, you can get this one is done about 2,500 miles. You can get one for about 23 and a half to 24 and a half thousand. That is a stunning car. Let's go inside and see what we get for the money we pay. There you go. Got a lot of bells and whistles, obviously. When you compare this car to the i30N, this car has better infotainment and uh, display cockpit, digital cockpit and a wider touchscreen infotainment. It's got wireless charging capacity, heated seats, heated steering that you can see, that's heated steering. It's fantastic. I like the seats. The only niggle with this is the bolsters here tend to be a bit loose. Uh, uh, the wear and tear on the bolsters are a bit high. So love it i have been enjoying this car it's absolutely amazing the clutch is clutch pedal is really soft very nice and yeah also the the gear throw is pretty neat slick yep it is also a five door so that's a fantastic piece so five door and there's so much space here look at that that seat look at the amount of space i have that's a lot of space i'm sat there's so much space at the back and that is why it makes a good value for money hatch. Some quick stats about the i20N guys. So this car puts out 201 bhp of power and it has a 40 litre tank and with a boot capacity of approximately 352 litres I will show you and it is basically on paper it says 142 miles is the top speed with, uh, with it's a 16 valve, 16 valve engine approximate fuel economy it says 40 miles per gallon i know some people have been getting 56 miles per gallon as well but real world conditions i have been using it i've get it, i've been getting 37.6 miles per gallon which is pretty good and the fun here is the way it drives it comes standard with a limited slip diff which is fantastic so big value for money for if you're in the market for a super mini affordable one and you get a five-year warranty on the car as well Eighteen inch wheels. They look absolutely stunning, these cars. A lot of cuts and creases. Let's quickly see the boot. Yep. It's not bad. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's about three hundred and fifty two liters of boot space you have in this. This car is for sale currently with Aldridge vehicles, so if you guys would like to get it, you can get it from there. Hey guys, now we come to the mega mighty BMW M4. Look at her. Come on. It's the BMW M4, 3 litre bi-turbo, 3 door model. Puts out 425 PS of power, 425 brake horsepower. Think about it. It's double and more compared to the Hyundai i20N. And it's the Hyundai i20N has 16 valve engine. The BMW has a 24 valve engine. M4 badging. 
laser lights as well look at that amazing this one is on sale for 33,000 32.995 precisely but this car I must say brand new is so much more expensive so this actually for an enthusiast who likes these cars or this type of cars is good value for money and that's the BMW keys nice just open the car let's see how it is inside wow so it's frameless glasses in the front looks stunning comes with all the bells and whistles for the seats full-on adjustment with memory function let's sit inside and see so I can tell you it feels proper driver's car it's absolutely spot-on feels so nice to sit inside this car guys come on and the steering man it's absolutely amazing and that is the ZF gearbox easy so good simple as that automatic ZF gearbox automatic and the infotainment I drive and the steering wheel doesn't hug you too much but it's absolutely comfortable to sit in and get a feel of as well fantastic let me give you a proper view from here so proper seats let's talk about some facts of the BMW M4 it has a 445 liter boot and comes with uh, approximately capacity of 60 liters uh, fuel tank capacity and yeah it, it says on paper top speed of 156 miles per hour and uh, real world fuel consumption of approximately 25 miles per gallon which is not too bad considering it's a three liter six cylinder bi-turbo engine and from a performance perspective you get quite a lot of performance this also comes with the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system I love a good car audio guys it's absolutely amazing to have a good car audio look at that car very clean it's really good value for the money it's actually a 69 plate 2019 model little things that I like look at that that's it you saw how the glass went up small quirks it's a three door so let's see how yep and then we gotta fold it and that's the seats behind let me sit and see how practical it is and then let's see getting in <laughs> right there we go and if I push it back it's actually quite comfortable guys there's so much space actually to sit in it's just getting in and out of the rear seats might be a bit of a pain but it's actually fine to sit you know long distance yeah you don't have much thigh support the seats are quite low if you can look so there's quite a bit of a space here which can cause a bit of uh, discomfort on long drives but apart from that it's quite nice this is the view from behind a lot of adjustments look at that guys a lot of fantastic adjustments really cool seats are nice so there's adjustment here you can move it so the seat goes front from here as forward as possible and then you do that and it goes forward so bring it back a little and then push it forward yeah so that's nice and there's some settings here I think it's hooks and they are retractable hooks so it goes back a lot of features in the BMW M4 right let's look at the boot now that's cool it just goes automatically it's not an automatic tailgate but it's got a four pot uh, tailpipe and it's a 445 liter boot which is not bad which is amazing actually quite a lot of space in here yeah and then see close it it's easy and that's it guys so now let's compare the exhaust note on both these cars let's start off with the m4 
So now we are gonna see the exhaust note for the i20N. How does that compare to the good old 3 litre BMW M4? Here you go guys. It's got a valve inside as well. Yeah, now it's on end mode. You can rev it. So guys, in all honesty, there's no real comparison of the i20N exhaust and the BMW M4. However, the i20N is pretty good for the money you pay. It still gives you those excitements of pops and bangs. But of course, the BMW M4 is the OG. You can see the power and the growl it has. It packs through, the, through its exhaust. So. so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it is not in-depth, just a quick overview of both these cars because both are extreme end of the car market. One is an extreme performance-based car, which is a bit more upmarket. So this car comes to you at 33,000. You can check it on the Aldridge Vehicles website. Fantastic 69 plate, M4, 3-liter, 6-cylinder engine. And here we have the total opposite, but still value for money, stunning i20N. 72 plate, December registered for 25,000, which is pretty good. 24,995, which is still pretty good. Got, got five years warranty and it's just coming up to a year and it's done only 2,500 miles. So it's basically pretty much new cars, both of them, but on different scale of the markets. But it's good value for money if you're looking for a small hot hatch, practical in town five door, whereas the BMW is a three door performance based car. Whatever you are in the market for, do try these cars. Both are phenomenal cars. Next video, we will bring to you a driving experience. Thank you for staying and watching. Please do subscribe and share. Have a great day.